we're already launching into a new season and it's really opportune now to look back on what was a really successful season on the field for Australian football. We saw the way the Matildas played, winning the Tournament of Nations, reaching their highest ever world ranking, making the final of the Asian Cup, selling out a couple of games, whilst we had the Socceroos qualify for a fourth successive World Cup. So it really shows our players are continuing to punch above their weight and do great things at the global level. Um, I'd like to think that as the PFA, as their representatives, we're doing the same thing. In particular, we've had great success in running disputes on behalf of our members. Uh, we've secured over $5 million in uh, damages and compensation for players this season for our paid wages, for contractual breaches, and it's a wonderful tribute to our office to be able to deliver those sort of outcomes for the players. You know, collectively, to be able to achieve a first ever CBA for the W League players was fantastic. Working with FFA and the clubs on that process to deliver, you know, close to 300% increase in salaries across the board. You know, top on the back of that, 99% membership across the W League. You know, it's been a great step forward, not only for us as an organisation, but for women's football uh, more generally. In the player development space, to, to offer over 200 education grants to A-League players and W-League players, Socceroos and other professionals, um, obviously including the Matildas, was phenomenal. And now we've got over 70% of, of our cohort of our members doing something away from football. So it's a huge quantum leap from where we were a few years ago. And if we keep up on that trajectory, uh, I predict great things for Australian football and for the players.